Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Corridor Design series. In this video, I'll be walking you through the process of creating this flyer inside of Corridor. Yeah, inside of Corridor. If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to subscribe and hit the notification so that you won't miss any video I'll be dropping after this time around. Without having to say much, let's get started. So click on file, click on new, and um, the width stays for, I'm going to put in a name here. This is where I have to put the name. So it's going to be um, let's see, yes. So it's just going to be um, spa flyer, yeah, like this. And um, width for height five, resolution three hundred. Everything stays the same. So right now, what I want to do is double click on this rectangle to have the replica of that shape. I'm going to give it white, and I'm going to come here and click none to remove the background that's the outline sorry the outline just like this okay so moving on here the next thing i want to do is click on file again the resource file to so this video is in the description of the video so um go ahead and download and um, make use of it just the way so we practice this together so i'm going to select transparency and i'm going to blow up like this doing on this part first next thing i'm going to do is go to bitmap convert to bitmap and um, click ok like this i'm going to go back to transparency again and do the same thing from the bottom to again like this right so you should have it this way so go click on bitmap convert to bitmap and um, click ok like this right so you have um, this image the way you want it to be so the next thing you want to do is by clipping this image inside of the frame that's the shape the rectangle itself so um click on it um, right click on power clip inside and click on the shape you can see that's gone inside click on edit and um, move it slightly to the left to position it well like this and you can as well make it bigger like this and um Click on edit effects blur and um, apply some Gaussian blur to it. Let me reduce this so it's not too much. I might increase it back later on. But as of this point, I'm going to leave it here 5.2 radius and click on OK and click on finish. Right? So anytime you want to edit, you can just click on edit and it takes you inside of the power clip. So bring in the image of the model itself and i'm just going to position her here make her small take it up while i make her big slightly and um resize like this take it up a bit like this and yeah there you go make it bigger and i will apply the same transparency i did with the image at the back so click on transparency we're going from white to black don't forget white reveals black conceals move this down slightly like this and uh, what you want to do is um, ctrl X to cut double click on the rectangle inside of the power clip and paste it here so you want to move this in place well and position this well here so when you are done you can click on finish or click out to leave inside of the power clip I'm just going to give this a green color give this a green color and um, i need a darker green so hold down control while you click on this black several times like five times like this to make the green darker right so what i want to do next is um go over to my text and i'm going to type what i need inside of this particular flyer right so it's going to be uh, Midas. Make this bigger. Make this bigger. Give it a white color. Right. And um, I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And uh, bring this down here. And this is going to be Glam House. Like this. And sorry. Ctrl Z, bring this closer like this. 
and select the two of them make it bigger move this to the edge make this bigger make this bigger and um, group them yeah and put this aside right so let's go ahead and further modify this right i'll click on g for gradient and i'm just going to go from this green to this white right great so i'm going to adjust this well move the green upward i'm using gradient g for green just press g on your keyboard it activates the gradient right double click on this i want to adjust this image inside go to effects go to blow i told you i would increase the blow value later on so i'm just going to increase the blow value of the background click on finish when you're done and yeah so there you go you can see nice and um, it's coming together fine just the way we want it click on your rectangle and draw a rectangle here just at this level and give it a yellow color what you want to do is come here and click on none to remove the outline go over to transparency and um, move from white to black make sure the black is at the tip of the shape so it blows it out and it fades perfectly right great you can choose to move this upward slightly like this and there you go you have your nice blend of green and yellow right i'm going over to my source file and i'm just going to bring in my text i type this out myself so to save us time and every other thing so we won't this whole tutorial won't be lengthy right so what you want to do now is click on this rectangle here i want this to stand out so click on the rectangle rectangle here and i'm going to give this rectangle this green color right remove the outline like this hold down control while you click on this black like this okay so what you want to do is you're going to be fading the edge so click on transparency from the middle here draw from white to black to fade this edge when you've done that go over to bitmap convert to bitmap and click ok do the same thing too for the other edge transparency from middle to the edge like this and there you go you have a nice effect convert it a bit more for the last time and click ok right click on it and um, hold shift expand from the edges and um, shift page up to send this text to the front so it's above that shape with over 1000 premium fonts over 100 high-quality PSD flyer templates. Over 700 icons. Over 3,000 premium stock photos, 3,000 plus high-resolution backgrounds. 1,000 plus 3D and PNG assets. Editable PSD templates and lots more. If you're a creative designer, UI, UX, or web designer, the Smart Designer's graphics assets will make your life much more easier. Okay, so if you haven't gotten yours, you know what to do at this point in time. So let's move on. I'm going to, I could leave this Midas Glam House like this, but it won't give me the spice I want. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and export it. Select it and click on File. Uh, click on File and click on Export. Make sure like spotting only that Midas Glam, right? And um, of course, select where you want it to be. I'm going to put it in my desktop. And um, I'm going to save it as a PNG file, right? So, um, or oh, let me take it to my downloads, okay? So, I'm saving it in my downloads. So, it's just going to be here. I'm just going to name it one. As you can see, it's already there before. Click on selected only. And um, when you are done, Make sure you click on export and it will say blah 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 i've saved it before click on yes and this is the file you're exporting click ok if you don't see it that way that means you're doing it the wrong way now let's go into the wonderful um world of photoshop let's make things happen so um, if you have photoshop in your pc 
click on it and um, let's modify this now this is the file you should use click on this file here and click on this one that says Photoshop image blah 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 22 so double click on it and um, open it up um, it's reading the file and um, this is the file right so a couple of things you want to do but first double click on this to take you to where you would put that image so now you have boys you're going to place this boys with that glam png you saved but before then uh, a couple of things you want to turn off like this um, turn this title off get rid of that and um, you can see the title is gone you turn the FX light off you can see it's gone and even the text to and even the background turn the background off so you have this um, the FX light is still on so turn it off so come here now and go over to downloads where I have my file and I'm just going to go and bring in the PNG that I saved which is this one I'm going to make it bigger like this and click enter I will have flipped it if I was using this thing for another thing but I'm just going to make it straight like this hide the voice or you can delete the layer and press ctrl s s for sale and you can see you have the text here you can see how nice this has turned out to be great so um, all of this thing that I turned off make sure it's turned off in yours too so you have a perfect image now what you want to do is go to file and um, go to exports and click on export as right so click on export as and um, this window is going to pop up the export as window and it's going to load up you can see format png make sure you're selecting png and you're clicking on transparency right and that's the preview this is what you are exporting right and click on export when you're done and voila to bring up what where you want to save it you can see i have done mine but i'll just go ahead and um, save it here with a different name probably something i would easily find it yet so this is 3d and i'm just going to click on save and click on save like this and um that's all you have to do so close this up so you don't save this file Click on no because I want you to use this file over and over and over again. So as you can see now, under download, this is our file. So I'm just going to drag and drop inside here like this. And um, boom, there you go. Right, so I just want to rectify this edge. So I'm just going to, from white to black to conceal that part and move this upward a bit. And that's all I'm going to be doing, make it smaller so it can fit into my design okay so this is it here so i can decide to make it big or make it smaller but first i will take this out i don't need it again and um, i have this here make it bigger position this well and i can i think it's too big i make it smaller right less is more select all of this shift page up to bring them up so it doesn't overshadow them click on this and um we tell it bye delete it won't have any use of it again so um you have this here now so let's um work on the last part let's um light up this midas glam house let's uh, throw in some light in here so click on your rectangle draw a perfect rectangle like this Make it yellow remove the outline by right clicking here click on transparency click on this and click on elliptical fountain transparency change the blend mode to screen go back to your selection to and drag this here so this is what you use to create those lighting effect so you can make the picture copy of this by spreading around ctrl c ctrl v you can have one here just pay attention to where there is light already right you can make this smaller you can tweak it to your taste how you want it that is um, 
what you should figure out by yourself just make sure you're not making a mess out of this lighting process right so um, yes okay so nice and easy just like this you can bring this down and make it smaller and you can tweak it like this one i'm going to tweak it and um, let me zoom back inside so with this one select the rectangle go over to noise and click on add noise right so i'm just going to increase the level here note that i'm selecting the rectangle the one that has yellow in it right so voila this is how you go about it all right guys um if you followed me from the beginning of this tutorial to this point um, i'm sure you have arrived at this junction too if you've liked this video if you've um if you um gained one or two things from this video um it would be wrong if you don't give this video a thumbs up and um of course you can share share to your loved ones share to your family your friends and um i would see you in the next video if you have not subscribed don't forget to subscribe i love you all.